Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelly. I am an oncology and lymphedema specialist. In a recent video, I shared about new and exciting findings on lymphatic drainage and how this may change from the way that we do traditional lymphatic drainage. This research is being done by the ALERT program in Australia and it very well may change the way that we treat lymphedema. To see my explanation of this, I would highly encourage you to go check out that video, which I will link up above and also down in the description box below. And I'll also link alerts information to learn more in depth below. But in this video, I'm gonna be doing a lymphatic drainage routine for mild leg lymphedema that someone can follow along with based on this information. If you'd like a printout with steps and diagrams on what to follow, you can find one on my website, which I'll link above and the description box down below. Now, this routine is different than the other videos I have of traditional lymphatic drainage on my channel. And know that this is a modified way that is not yet being taught by lymphedema certification schools uh, to the masses yet. So please continue to work with your lymphedema therapist for personalized guidance. If you want a video of traditional lymphatic drainage, check out my playlist full of options, which I'll also link down below. Before we begin, I wanna take a second and give a massive thank you to the ALERT program, not only for their dedication to this research and their passion to improve lymphedema treatment, but also a thank you for providing me with the slides and graphics for this video series to be able to share with you all. Please again, check the description box down below for more on ALERT, check out their content and also their publications. Now, I explained this more in depth in the video I mentioned prior, but if we take a quick look at the summary view, you can see here the percentage of individuals that had lymph fluid drained to each area or region of lymph nodes, with a majority having fluid moving still to the lymph nodes in the groin on the same side they had surgery or lymph nodes removed. They also had some moving to the opposite groin or opposite side, and also a significant amount had a significant number of individuals had fluid moving to behind the knee. There are definitely others. You can see percentages. There are still people that have fluid moving to various other areas. Um, but if we're looking for a modification or a modified routine, this is one that someone can follow along with. So for this routine, I'm gonna be doing a kind of a modified sit. I have other videos on my channel of doing lymphatic drainage in the legs, sitting in a chair, laying down, legs on a bolster, a lot of options. Really the best way is to A, and most importantly, find what works best for you that you can reach as much of your leg or foot as possible. Then for there, if someone's able to, laying down on their back with their leg up with gravity is the next best, but wanna make sure that you find what works best for you. So what we're gonna start with, if you have the time, is still our deep breathing. So we know all the lymph fluid has to go through, so we wanna do our deep breaths. So we're gonna put our hand on our abdomen, gently pressing in, take a big breath in, and out. Move your hands over, breath in, expand into your belly, and out. Lower quadrant, breath in and out. Last corner, breath in and out. From there, if we think about the ALERT program's research, we really know that if you have mild lymphedema in the leg, that we wanna focus all of our time in the front of the groin on the side that you had surgery, the opposite groin and behind the knee. Yes, we can add into the armpit if you want, but they, sh they show in the research not many people have that fluid move that direction. So let's shorten it and just focus on these areas. So we're gonna start with circles right in the groin, right where the sitting crease is. You're gonna do eight to 10 circles there. This is best to do directly on the skin if able. It does not matter which direction you go, but eight to 10 circles there. From there, if we have swelling, especially in the pelvis or low trunk, we're actually gonna move the fluid towards the lymph node, lymph nodes on that side, that groin. Spending time, three to five, it's a small area, just working the fluids there, or kind of in the middle, we can work across. 
still working towards the other side. Now, if you have swelling in both legs, you can just work to each side, whatever's, you know, whatever side is closest to where you're working, go that direction. But if you have just lymphedema on one side, you can work across. From there, we're gonna work down into the leg. So I'm gonna turn, you can see a little bit more for a different view. We're gonna work on that thigh area. So I'm taking my whole hand, full surface area, and then gently, but firm, slowly working that fluid up the leg towards the front. You have those lymph nodes in the back that they show on the pathways, a little bit moves there. So it's okay to move straight up the back as well. Trying to do firm, slow strokes to encourage that fluid movement. Now, if someone has fibrosis, that thickened, hardened tissue, what I like to talk about in my other videos is that if I like to stop in those videos and kind of knead dough-like with my hands, and that will help soften some of that fibrosis in an area that you might feel. And then after you've done a minute or two there, then you can get right back in to lymphatic drainage. Nice and slow, three to four, three to five strokes in each area, spending more times on the areas that you feel are a little bit more stubborn. Everything's still moving up towards the front. And then from there, we're gonna move on to the knee. So I like to work around the kneecap, kind of get into the crevices around the bony areas, working on the sides of the knee. And then based on this research, we're gonna spend a little bit more time than we have in the past, or I've taught in the past, behind the knee either doing circles, but also working strokes upwards, guiding through where those lymph nodes are. A lot of people have fluid that moves through this pathway. That can really help the lower leg. So maybe we wanna spend more time there than we used to. After a little bit of time there, we're gonna move on to the lower leg from the ankle to the knee. So again, if you are able to, working with your leg up against gravity is great but otherwise just do what works for you. Cross your leg over if you need to, but working all the way up, going straight up the back of the leg and the front. Three to five times. Again, stopping for any hardened, thickened, fibrotic areas, kind of kneading that dough, and then moving right back into your lymphatic drainage. Make sure you get all sides. And then after we've spent enough time there, as much time as you want, we're gonna go to the ankle and the foot. You can work around those ankle bones where we have some crevices. The fluid likes to sit around those bones and around the um, tendon in the back. So around those bones with your fingers and then if you can, the full hand over the top of the foot and the top of the toes. You could do each toe individually if you'd like, whatever works best for you. Again, some people would like to cross their leg over, that's fine too, but working up. If you need to get your fingers in between those tendons, you can do that as well. But once you've done the foot and the ankle, you can kind of work your way back up. We'll work our way back into the lower leg. three to five times on each side. And then after we've done that, we can go back around the knee. Again, I'm gonna work behind the knee. Encourage a lot of fluid moving through that pathway, that drainage pathway where those lymph nodes are, lymph vessels are. And then also spending time around the knee, around the kneecap, kind of getting into the crevices. And then we're gonna go back up to the thigh. Working towards the groin lymph nodes. Make sure you get on the back side and stop. And massage, knead the dough of the tissue, the dough a little bit more for any hardened fibrotic areas. Slow, but firm. This isn't a deep pressure but we used to teach just gentle skin stretches. They're learning that if you have congestion, we call dermal backflow, there it is better to do a little bit firmer and slower. 
three to five or as much time as you have or you'd like, whatever you need to do to modify. And then once you finish the thigh, you wanna finish back up again. So in the upper lower pelvis, you can work everything to the lymph nodes right in the front of the groin. We're not gonna spend time going up to the armpit based on not many people have that pathway with mild lymphedema. And then, but you can work some across that lower pelvis, lower abdomen over to the groin lymph nodes on the opposite side. So again, find what modifications you need, but that could be a shortened version of the full lymphatic drainage that we also used to teach. But I would, if you have the time, finish with a few deep breaths to help with the deep lymphatic channel. So hand on the abdomen, big breath in and out. Another breath in and out. Breath in and out. And then one more big breath in and out. So that's a modified routine for lymphatic drainage based on the ALERT program's research findings. Again, I would still follow a traditional lymphatic drainage routine or based on what your CLT recommends, but if we're looking for something to be more efficient or shorten because a full lymphatic drainage routine just takes a lot more time, these are the areas that we can modify and focus in on and maybe remove or take out other areas like moving up to the armpit. Again, everyone's going to be different, so work with your lymphedema therapist. But I hope you all found this video helpful and informative. Again, thank you to Alert, the Alert program, for sharing your information and your research. Please make sure that you check out more of their information down below, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Thanks, everyone.